Welcome to the CQC training series. This is a spot topic video on the written documentation. In this video, we're going to be looking at CQC's written documentation. These videos that you're going through, they provide you with very useful information, uh, sort of high level, and in some cases, they might be all that you need. Uh, but in a lot of other cases, you're going to need to dig in, and particularly in cases where you need reference material on specific action commands and how does this particular user interface widget work and that sort of thing, you'll need to get into the written documentation in a lot of cases for that. And all of the documentation is shipped. It's also available on the website, but you should always use the ship version because it's guaranteed to be correct for your version, and it's also a lot faster to access. And it's available through the administrative interface. And if you go to the help section here and expand that out, there is a docs subsection. And this just provides a set of quick links. There's a lot more than this in the help. These are just things that you're likely to want to get to. So we provided just quick references for them. If you just want to go to the root of the help, just use help home here. And it will just open up your default browser. And all of the help takes this basic form where there's an index on the left and content on the right. And you can just select a new entry on the left here to open that up. And just to go over kind of the basic layout of it here, um, it, you'll quickly figure out where you need to look generally for what you're looking for, but um, there's basically an automation overview, which is not CQC specific per se. It's um, for people who are not completely up on what automation is and how things work. And then there's a lot of big picture information. So this is not detailed reference type info. It's um, sort of a, a step deeper uh, version of the videos, more or less. So this will be very commonly where you might want to go to get started in a particular section. And it covers a lot of the things that you can see here that are also covered in the videos. You can go up a section or you can go up a level and you can use the back to go back to the previous page. And of course, the training videos you know about, those are what you are watching now, but this is just going the other direction and providing you some information about those videos for people who just happen to start here instead of going to the videos first. The training or the installation and setup uh, provides you with a, a lot of uh, more detailed information beyond what the very basic uh, installation videos um, provide. So once you've done your your tutorial setup and and gone through the tutorials you probably would like to come back through here and get a little bit more information about how you might want to ultimately install and configure cqc and in the tools section this is where it covers a little bit more information about the specifics of the tools that you will use the administrative tools and so far we have entries for the administrative interfaces which is where almost everything is and the interface viewer which has various options that you might want to know about and then the tray monitor which um, you can optionally install and allows you to uh, do a number of things and we'll get some more information in these as well oh and also the log monitor which is something you would commonly want to use for um, spelunking issues and that sort of thing so read through there to find out more information about those and the advanced topic section is stuff that more uh, adventurous users are will get into and this provides a lot of things like um, uh, implementing handlers in the web server how to write de uh, device drivers uh, how to deal with uh, web server certificates and things like that. The Amazon Echo setup, which is can is a little bit tricky to do, that sort of thing. So more advanced stuff here, in here. And then the reference material, there's lots of stuff in here, and this is the dry reference content. So this is where you will dig in to get very specific information. And then there are some uh, downloadable resources available to you as well. So that's basically what's available there. Just, you know, spend a little bit of time going through it. And you'll, like I said, you'll get used to where things are. And also use those quick links back in the administrative interface, which will take you to specific things quickly so you don't have to actually remember where those are. And one other thing that we can look at here, and this is a nice improvement in 5.1, is that you can now use the F1 key within the action editor and within the user interface editor to get uh, specific help on whatever is currently selected. So let me close this and um, I'll open up customize here and let's just go to something that has an action in it. Um, I'll do an event. It's one of these guys and I'll bring up the action editor. And now you can see, you know, we have um, the field right command selected here. So if I hit F1, it will bring up the help and it will 
try to make visible the particular thing that you are asked for. In this case, it was field right. It'll usually be at the top unless for some reason it can't quite get it there. So that's very convenient. And you can do the same for um, user interface widgets. Open that up here. Let's pick one, doesn't really matter. And so uh, if we look down here, it says this is a Boolean, a field Boolean image. This only works if you have one widget selected since otherwise it wouldn't know which one you cared about. So I'll hit F1 and it will bring up the documentation for Boolean image widgets. So a very nice uh, improvement for 5.1 and we'll get this into other things moving forward. We were just limited in time as to how many we could do for 5.1 and we felt these were the ones where we'd probably get the most bang for the buck, but we'll get some more done in the future. So that's it. Hopefully this documentation will help you. It's been a, an incredible effort to create it. So hopefully that is justified by helping everybody out considerably. So we'll see you in the next video.